let's just say last night was a, was a pretty good time. In this video, I'm sharing with you helpful things to know for a really great in downtown San Diego, coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL to make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I want you to have a great time in downtown San Diego because this is where I grew up. I'm from San Diego and I had one heck of a night out last night. So let's talk about the helpful things to know. Woo! I love playing arcade games and one of the great spots to go to is Coin Op, which is a spot where you can get not just food, but tons of awesome drinks and tons of arcade games. It's a really good time. Make sure you bring those dollar dollar bills, y'all, because they have change machines in which you can switch them over to quarters and have a great time playing arcade games. Here's one that you have to plan ahead for, and that's Youngblood. So this is a speakeasy that's not that easy to get into. And so make sure you make reservations really far in advance. And when you do make reservations, make sure you are there right on time because they're super strict about it. But if you're like me and you're just a walk-in hoping to get in, they also have their other speakeasy, which is Noble Experiment. So these two doors are right next to each other. Youngblood and Noble Experiment are literally two doors right next to each other that's behind the secret door within the restaurant neighborhood. It's, if that sounded confusing, that's because it is. Uh, I was walking around this restaurant just being like, where am I supposed to go? It's not easy to figure out that the door with the kegs is the one to walk through. But anyway, make sure you make a reservation for young blood or try to do what I did, which is walk in for either. We waited about an hour and 20 minutes to be able to get into Noble Experiment. The great thing to do is have a bite to eat at the hood or neighborhood. It's a really great restaurant and they serve up their own really great cocktails. I had the French 75 and their food is so good. We had the bone marrow that was to die for their mac and cheese. It's like craft mac and cheese, but way better. And it has Doritos on top. I, uh, I can not fit in my pants after that one. And we also had their pierogies, super delicious. But this is both a really cool vibe and a really small space. So if the wait here is too long, we also try to go next door to a spot where, <laughs> hold on, let me get this name right. Jay and Tony's Discount Cured Meats and Negroni Warehouse. Gets good reviews on Yelp. Thought I would check it out. It's just around the corner. That was an easy spot that we could sit at immediately, but it really is mainly cured meats, it's sandwiches. And the other thing is they have a super limited wine list. It's only like one red, one white, one sparkling. So we decided to go back to neighborhood to get a spot. <laughs> Apparently that's what my dance moves look like. <laughs> Which let's talk about Onyx. By the way, if you have helpful tips of things to do in downtown San Diego, add them in the comments below. We're all a community and there are an endless amount of things to do here. If you're curious about where I'm staying, tons of info on that in the full blog post below. And let's talk about the next helpful tip. I really love nightclubs because I really love dancing. And Onyx is a spot that I chose because they have three rooms. So it's one of those things where if the main room music isn't really your thing. I was looking for the hip hop room. And so they had their main dance floor. And when you go downstairs, they have two other rooms. And the night that we were there, they had one room that was mainly just salsa music and Latin music. They had another room that was kind of a mix between kind of like pop club and hip hop music. And the other room was kind of a mix between like hip hop and reggaeton. It was a really cool vibe. We got there early. So helpful tip. You can add yourself to the guest list. And if you get there in the 9 to 10 p.m. time frame, you can get in for half price discounted tickets. So we came early because I don't know, I like to enjoy the vibe of the nightclub before it gets busy and have some drinks at the bar. So we were able to get in at a discounted rate of $10 a person. 
I would say it was really cool. We're really picky about music and a good sound experiment. And whoa, it was loud and those speakers were so blown out upstairs, but downstairs was a really cool vibe. And you know what? The bartenders were so awesome. I ordered a drink and Meatball was done drinking. And what did they do? They gave him a free drink just so he wouldn't have to drink alone. That was such a nice thing. It's, uh, it's that West Coast love that I love and it was just, it was a really good night. Oh, 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 the Pendry Hotel. This is a brand new hotel in downtown San Diego and it's a luxury boutique hotel and there's a lot to say, but let's start with the nightclub, which is Oxford Social. This was a really, really great space. I actually really loved coming here. I came back to downtown with one of my girlfriends to have a night out and it's mainly a tables setup. So it's most people getting bottle service, etc. And there's not really a dance floor which is kind of like the bad uh, side of things if you like to dance, but it's still a cool vibe and there's still like really great DJs spinning. That night it was top 40 hip hop and they have two bars, one in the front and one in the back area, but a really great atmosphere and a really great space. I would say in comparison to Onyx, it was definitely um, a more mature crowd uh, <laughs> versus uh, at Onyx, it felt like super young. So that was kind of the vibe that I had when I was there. But also inside the Pendry Hotel is a few restaurants. One of them that I went to is Lionfish. And it was a kind of a cool vibe. It's like a sushi spot that is not inexpensive. Um, one of the items that we tried was the tuna pizza uh, at $26. I don't know, it was fine. It wasn't the best late night food, which is why uh, we decided to roll somewhere else. So Werewolf is somewhere that's known mainly for brunch, but I went for late night and it was actually a really great casual spot that I love very much. And so they were having karaoke. And so that's something you can look for on their calendar. Cool late night food, but what's better is their brunch. I loved Werewolf. You have to get the Pork Belly Benedict. Definitely a cool spot to just hang out in general. The vibe was really awesome. I love a spot where it just has really good service. You're greeted and just everyone was really nice. And drinks were awesome. I had the Werewolf Bloody Mary, nice and spicy. Maple had a vodka Red Bull. We ate the Pork Belly Benedict. I feel like a Pork Belly Benedict. I definitely recommend that spot. I'll be back. And one more suggestion I have for you, which could be late night, or I guess it could be lunch or any Tuesday, which is when I went, but Tacos El Gordo. This is a fantastic spot to grab tacos. And I got to go here with JJ of Jcation. So actually, let's take a look. Welcome to Tacos El Gordo. I'm super excited because I've never been to this spot. It's actually the most Northern location they have in San Diego. They have a few spots, but right now, this gas lamp location is open till on the weekends, 4 a.m. You wanna know what that means? After you've had a great night out, you come here. Or you just come here on a Tuesday, like I did, two o'clock, that dude. So what was really different about this taco spot is that instead of just getting in line and placing your order, you're getting in line by type of taco that you want. So you're going down the counter and if you want, we had the adobada taco, so we got in that line and then separately got in the line for a carne asada taco. And they have one person that's just making that specific taco and dishing them out and then you go down to the end and pay. But it was a fantastic spot, really, really delicious tacos. I definitely recommend it and if you want to learn more about those tacos make sure you check out JJ's video which speaking of which I asked him what his suggestion is for going out in downtown if there's someone that knows San Diego it's this man right here this is Jay from Jaycation you got to check out his channel info in the description below but I have to ask him where where would you go out in downtown San Diego I didn't use to party I mean I used to party more but now I don't party as much um, I mean I would say Park SD and sidebar if I wanted to go to a club, but now I'm more of just like a chill bar type of vibe. So sometimes you might feel like a chill bar. Which bar would you recommend? Um, I like places like Bar Basic mm -hmm. and Bubs, just the stuff by the ballpark where mm -hmm. you can just mm -hmm. enjoy a craft beer. Or yeah. 
or a cocktail. If you want some rooftop views, you got the Nolan, which is on the top of the Courtyard Marriott. And then Bay City Brewing, which is just uh, off of 7th, I believe. Mm -hmm. They have a nice rooftop on like the third floor and you get a nice ambiance out there. Yeah, So I love that. Rooftop views, good drinks. Thank you for that. And I also like uh, Half Door Brewing Company. Um, you love beer in old general. School, <laughs> it's an old school like house mm -hmm. here in San Diego. Like, it's like a white 1800s colored house. And uh, it's got like two floors and this is a pretty cool ambiance there. I love that. I'm gonna link that in the description below. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you check out this man as well. If you haven't been to Little Italy, you need to come to this area because it's so amazing for places to go to eat dinner, grab a bite to eat, and also grab a drink. Uh, I have so many places I absolutely love to eat at down here, but today I'm gonna go check out some cocktails with JJ. Let's check it out. Ready by ready, I mean, let's drink! <laughs> If you haven't been to Craft & Commerce, they're known for having over-the-top decoration. I love coming here for dinner and drinks. It's great to sit inside, but I love sitting, especially on a nice night outside at the tables that have their own dedicated little fire pits. But there's so much to look at at this restaurant. But if you're not familiar with Little Italy, it's such a great spot to come for dinner. It's only a few blocks long, a really great one, especially if you're grabbing someone from the airport, but stroll around and if there's somewhere specific you want to eat, make sure you make reservations because it can get very busy. I love Cloak and Petal. I love so many of the restaurants down here. It's a great place to discover somewhere new, whether it's somewhere nice or somewhere casual. Oh my God, we did it. I'm so excited. Did we get enough donuts? We got enough donuts. Hi. If you don't know Donut Bar, you need to know Donut Bar. It's a very famous spot that's written about in a lot of places. But one thing you might not know, so you don't have to get up early, is pre-order your donuts online on their website. Info in the description below. But they have coffee, spots to sit upstairs, but take some donuts to go, share them with everybody you love, or just eat them all by yourself, and then go right next door and grab a great cup of coffee at this if you love craft coffee, Blue Bottle is the spot you have to go to. I used to go to their OG location in a garage in San Francisco in Hayes Valley. Now they have locations all, all over actually. And this is their downtown location. Really, really delicious coffee. I had a cappuccino, meatball had a mocha. He's not paying attention, does not care. Great spot to stop in at. If you had some fun with me in this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and come join me in other San Diego videos. There's a full playlist info in the description below, and I'll see you over there. Ciao. Um, check out my uh, top foods to eat in downtown San Diego. I just oh, posted yeah. that uh, during Comic Con, mm -hmm. and uh, I show you all my favorite, like from like quick eats to like fine dining, which is Ray Degado yeah. down here. Oh, love uh, that. Brazilian Steakhouse. Oh, mm -hmm. awesome. Make sure you check that out. Info in the description below.